Hi everyone, it's Karen, as you know, and um, I just did a lot of uh, passionate stuff just now on the groups and uh, did a kick butt post about specific people. We are getting plagued this week on, uh, on MM, um, Manifesting Mastery, about specific people the time of year okay everybody wants their sp underneath their christmas tree with a red bow around him or hers private part saying open well we need to grow up okay they are terrified of what they want that's why it's not underneath their christmas tree Fear of change is exactly that. Terrified about getting what we want. We should know by now that in order to have different results. Hi, Danette. How are you, honey? To have different results, we must be different people. We have to. But, oh, no. No, Neville didn't say that. It's not written in any of his books. It's not in any of his lectures. So you're full of shit, Karen. Well, no, I'm not. Pretend the impossible happened, and I'm the channel for Neville. And he is speaking through me because he is somewhere else drinking margaritas. Hi, Janet. And just rolling with laughter about how his teachings have uh, been misconstrued all of these years. Guys, you're afraid of change. Plain and simple. Hi, Val. And if you weren't afraid of change, you would be ruling the world. But no, you don't even rule your damn bedroom. Okay. So, we're going to talk about that tonight. Uh, some personal examples. Always best. I wanted a specific amount of income a couple years ago. I was always underneath that. Still underneath that, most people would have applauded me and saying, Oh, yay, Karen. Um, I wanted a different figure. 50% uh, more, actually. It took me literally a week after I got fucking fed up with myself and my excuses. And I realized that I wasn't allowing God to come in to my life and that I wanted to keep control over everything. I wanted to remain the way I was, but yet have what I wanted. It doesn't work that way, gang. It really doesn't. I am so sorry. I'm ready to cry. Okay, got my bullshit button. I'm going to be playing it today. Okay, so, um, <laughs> don't mess with me. Um, anyway, <laughs> Valerie, yeah, isn't that cute? You should get one. Okay, maybe said I'll oh, give you one. Okay, it takes not an act of God but an act of you kicking the ego out of your life for you to make a change. <laughs> and you have to be the operant power, not, not the, uh, the person who's controlled by a power that is less than a dung beetle's poop. And that's the ego. The ego really doesn't exist, but we give it power. You know, we started that a long time ago before the Big Bang. Okay. And we keep on rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling that. We're like Sisyphus, okay? We roll the boulder up the hill and it comes back down, you know? And we're making this all happen with our imagination. And, oh, goody, we have somebody else to save. Oh, hooray, hooray. But, oh, we feel so bad. Okay. And we offer them exactly what we're offering ourselves. We will tell them all kinds of positive platitudes and we'll give them 10 bucks and we'll fix them a meal and we'll pat them on the back and soothe them. 
buck soothing and do all of that other horse shit and they will just suck their thumb, stand in, in the corner and, and peek out once in a while and get the attention that they are wanting, okay? This is horse shit. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Okay, so <laughs> I'm on a roll, guys. Um, Why don't you go outside and play hide and go fuck off? Okay. Might as well employ both buttons. I've got two others, by the way. <laughs> Janet, you need these buttons, sweetheart. You're going to get them for Christmas, maybe. Okay, so fear change. That's exactly what is butting you in the balls. Okay, you want what you want, but you're not going to go there. No way in hell. You are going to manifest the change without changing. No, it doesn't work like that. And I'm, I'm going to sit and watch and I'm going to watch you turn all kinds of purple and then blame it on somebody else. Okay. That was bullshit. So you've got to admit to the fact that you truly are terrified of, of, uh, of change. And what's at the heart of that is guilt. Isn't that interesting that I have a really powerful course saying goodbye to guilt? Okay. And uh, yeah, I kick your ass for at least 60 days or as, as long as you can take it. Okay. Um, and uh, if you want to take me on, if you do, you're going to have to pay some money. And I'm real direct. And uh, it's you and me, baby. I will go to hell and back, drag your ass out of the grasp of the devil himself. That's how committed I am. How committed are you? Well, I want my SP and hey, my girlfriend saw him. Does that mean he's in my life? Bullshit. Honey, no. You're still the same little wimpy girl you were yesterday. Okay? Balls up. You got a lot of work to do on your self-concept. And don't tell me you worked on your self-concept by, you know, oh, am I so great? Look at my nails. I got them done and I got my hair done and I get my feet done and I'm just so special, special. I'm not going to hug myself. Oh, I love myself. Fuck that bullshit. bullshit level, five. So what I'm saying is you got to face the fear of changing yourself, dears. I mean that. You have to balls up and realize that the ego has you by the short hairs. And it's going to keep you by the short hairs until you admit the fact that you want what you want without doing jack shit. And, and, and the thing is, the thing that doesn't make, you know, make any fucking sense to me anymore fucking done. is how anyone could think that this wonderful lifestyle of law of assumption is about getting that has to be tossed out with the dog poop. It is a transformational process so that you can give to others that which you wish to receive. It's all within, dears. Neville teaches you that. And it isn't in a form. It's in the content. It's in the state of the wish fulfilled. I'm going to have that on my tombstone. It's the state you fuckers. Okay. Two words, one finger. So you guys, you gotta, you gotta balls up. You've got to have a raging heart on bone up with muscle and you've got to face your fears, your fucking ego. Apologies. Cat, I'll have to call you later. Okay. Sorry, guys. And <laughs> who else?
else is going to descend? I love this. I really do. I'm having such fun today. And all these SP posts. Oh, God, they've got me foaming at the mouth. Ah! Okay, we're going to have a great February, aren't we, Val? And all you rest. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <laughs> No, I haven't been drinking and I haven't been eating crap. Okay. I'm just, you got to laugh. You just have to stomp, beat, scream, and laugh. That's going to be the title of my second book. And the third book is going to be, okay. And all three books are going to be next year. I'm going to be so fucking busy. And, all, and the third book is Confessions of an Ex-Savior me i took it to the limit guys no one's gone to you know you, you talk about extreme sports salvation see savioritis is my extreme sport <laughs> better than climbing mount everest in a storm okay without a damn bit of clothing on okay yes i would freeze my tits off. Yep. <laughs> so, oh God, I'm on a roll. Maybe I should publish this. X-rated. Okay. You have got to face the facts that, yeah, you're going to have to change. And that doesn't mean change your underwear. Okay. It means that you fundamentally have to become the better version of yourself. Continue to do that. Mystics throughout time have told you the truth. You have to die to the old person daily and be resurrected in the new. Not to get your SP with a red ribbon around his cock, okay? No, 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 no. You have to change your self-concept about yourself and know that you are loved, adored, cherished, that you are valuable, an asset to anyone. I certainly am. I have a hell of a resume, a couple pages long. In fact, it comes with me. It is communicated to everybody. No one asks me if I am valuable. No one turns me down. Why? Because I've worked on my self-concept the right way, guys. Okay. Not by licking my... <clears throat> okay. Fill in the blank. And... <laughs> guys, I'm glad you're here to be a witness to my blow up here. Um, I'm expressing emotions, okay? I don't have to stomp and scream. I just express them. Um, you have to change who you are fundamentally. You have to die to the old self daily. You have to resurrect yourself daily. You don't just get out of bed, brush your teeth, brush your hair, and say and call it good. Oh, aren't I wonderful? No, you take risks daily. You clean up messes daily. You go through what your list of who you really are daily. You dress in the, the perfect garment that represents, and it's invisible, by the way, the garment of who you really are. You're A-game. And you go out into the world. You could be in that shittiest of outfits and people treat you I can't you, I, 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 treat you like a queen no matter how much of a, of a bitch I am this year which I am everybody treats me like I'm their best buddy I can't get them perplexed god damn it I'm not having much fun this year I'm pissing people off I did today by the way one of my clients she's 89 years old she 93 she uh is the first woman who was accepted to Stanford and graduated. Her IQ is as high as mine, 157. And uh, she's pain I, I'm, and I'm fear. You guys should all know what pain and fear is. If not, you can contact me and ask me. I'll give you a whole 
manual. And um, okay, pain people uh, are easily offended, uh, excuse me, through personal, they feel that they are going to be personally hit, hurt. Uh, fear people like me feel that we're to blame. Fuck that bullshit. Okay, so, Fucking a. so with that being said, I want you to know something. I am not to blame. And I am so happy to get over that. Finally, fuck. And in fact, I go about in the clothing that I am a threat. And that turned my life around. That was a huge change in who I thought I was. And that's what it takes. And then all of a sudden, my world turned and went rogue on me, guys. Everything is wonderful. God, I have to really dig deep to even, you know, sniff out a rotten egg. Okay? It's just, it's too wonderful for words. Fuck. I don't deserve this horseshit. So I want you all to experience this. And it takes you stopping being afraid of change. Embrace it. Just, just say, damn it, I am ready for the change. Bring it on. And tell the ego to fuck off. With that, I am going to say... I love you. You all are fucking credible. Okay. And I will see you later, guys.